Hello, 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 all of you beautiful people. How's it going? I'm looking at the comment section right now, by the way. And everyone's saying it's so happy Friday. Happy, happy Friday. Happy, happy Friday. You know what? It may be Saturday for some people in the world, huh? You know, there's a lot of places where you can play the game. But hey, everybody, my name is Deshola. We're going to have a good time today. You know that, right? Yes, we are. Hey, Mr. Disco. Hey, Soda Guy. Hey, uh, C Shedden 15 Hello, D. Colburn, all you guys, grandma of eight, grandma of eight, wow. Hello to all of you guys, hope you guys are having a great day, hope your weekend's going to be amazing. Honestly, is there any better way to start your weekend off other than playing Daily Trivia Live? I think not. But before we get the game started, you guys know I love to talk about the National Day, so you guys know that today is National Junk Food Day. It's National Junk Food Day, amongst a lot of other ones, but that one stood out to me. So what junk food are you going to eat today without feeling guilty since it is a holiday? Let me know. What Which one are you guys going to eat? Ooh, let's see. Let's see. Hey, Summer S. Summer's JS. How you doing? How you doing? Oh, no one's saying what they're going to eat. Oh, pizza. Okay, pizza, Cheetos, pizza, cookies, watermelon, chow mein, canoy. Butterfingers, burger, chocolate, ice cream, Fritos. Ooh, I was just talking about Fritos last night, you guys. Flaming hot Fritos are the best. All right. Are the best. Ooh, I love those. Popcorn, pizza, pork chops, Culver's, Twinkies, ice cream, and sour sour cream. You, what, what is that? You're going to eat a thing of sour cream just like that? Like on nothing, you just want sour cream. Okay. Oh, cannoli. Okay. I was like, you still need some sour cream? Is sour cream in cannoli? That, honestly, I don't know. I don't know. But what I do know is it is, hey, Friday. So welcome to yet another Friday Flash edition of Daily Trivia Live, the mobile game show where you win your phone. You guys, I'm going to get this moving as quickly as I can because you guys are always saying, hurry up, hurry up. So look, here is a look at the grand prize. You want to see it? Boom, look at that. That right there is $1,000. And when you correctly answer 10, multiple general trivia questions you my friend win your share of it so in this game you earn one bonus sb for every single question you get right after question number one even if you've already been eliminated now if you win the game which is amazing right they're automatically added to your prize otherwise you'll have to claim them at the end of the game to keep them so the first time you get a question wrong as long as it's before question number 10 you can rejoin to get another shot at the grand prize either using sb or with a free rejoin. Hot tip, click the plus sign in the top left-hand corner of the main menu anytime a game's not happening and you can get a free and you can get free rejoins by watching videos. Now, each game we give away a 500 SB prize to one player who wins and claims at least one SB in the game. Now, Thursday's winner was Firecats 1. Woo! Congratulations to you. Now, you've already been credited and everyone else, listen, keep playing and claiming because next time the winner could be you. All right. It really could. Now, let's take a deep breath real quick. I need it. One, two, three. Oh, yes, that was great. Let's swipe the comments away so we can kick things off with question number one. So here we go. Question number one. Which musical features the Von Trapp family? The King and I, The Sound of Music, or Annie, Get Your Gun? Which musical features the Von Trapp family? Now, their lives are turned upside down when Maria shows up, teaches the kids to sing, falls in love with the Baron, and helps them escape from the Nazis in The Sound of Music, everybody. The Sound of Music is the correct answer. 11,159 of you guys got the one right. And all I know is Maria sounds like a great woman. Okay, look, she did a lot for them. Very important things. Sound of Music is the correct answer, everybody. 93% of you guys got that one right. 11,159. Only 7% got it wrong. We're starting the game off great. Let's move on to the next question worth, num worth uh, not number, worth one <laughs> bonus SB. Here's question number two. Which of the following is not a common variation of poker? Five card stud, seven card stud, or one card nap? Which of the following is not a common variation of poker? Now, listen, we may no longer be in the resurgence of poker from the mid-2000s, but it's still a popular game, and most people know the common variations. And if you do, you know that one-card nap is the fake. One-card nap? Who? Yes, 10,000. 
982. If you guys got that one right, then you knew that one card nap is not a thing. That's 92% of you guys who got that one right. Very proud of you for that. Now, 88.3% of you guys got it wrong. 1,000 of you guys got it wrong. Um, but, you know, that's still that's still not a lot compared to who got it right. All right. Over 820 of you guys have rejoined. So I think it's time to move on, right? All right. Moving on to the next question worth one bonus SB. Here is question number what? Number three. The Liberty are the WNBA franchise in which city? New York, Chicago, or Phoenix? I have a lot of faith in you guys for this question. New York, Chicago, or Phoenix? So if you're not watching the WNBA, you're missing out on some great basketball, and hopefully the league continues to expand. The New York Liberty is one of the founding franchises. New York, you guys. New York. Boom. 10,160 of you guys got the one right, and you knew that New York was the correct answer. The reason why I had faith in you guys is because the Liberty, you know, the Statue of Liberty. So I figured, you know, you put two and two together and do what you needed to do. And you did. So shout out to all of you guys who got that one right. All right. And the ones who did it, you guys are doing right by rejoining. Over 1,100 of you have rejoined. So I think it's time to move on to question number four worth one bonus SB. Let's go. Flea is the basis for what band? Metallica, Red Hot Chili Peppers, or the Rolling Stone? Flea is the basis for what band? Hmm. Now, born Michael Peter Balzari. He is one of the best bass players in the world and is one of the founding members of Southern California's own Red Hot Chili Peppers. Red Hot Chili Peppers, everybody. That's the correct answer. 9,970 of you guys got the one right. That's 89% of you guys who knew that Flea was the basis and or is the basis for Red Hot Chili Peppers. You guys are really killing the game today. I'm very proud. Honestly, I am. It's, this is This is impressive. All right, let's move on to the next question. Where's one bonus SB? Here's question number five. What is the name of McDonald's blended ice cream dessert? McBlizzard, McLee, or McFlurry? McBlizzard, McLee, or McFlurry? Now, everybody loves these treats, but you have to be lucky enough to get there when the ice cream machine is actually working. You guys know what I'm talking about. But if you do, you have you a McFlurry. 10,121 of you guys got the one right, and you knew that McFlurry was the correct answer. Ooh, okay, McFlurry, look at that. Those were the thing when I was a kid. You know, you remember the M&M one, the Oreo one? I, I think they had, did they have a Reese's Pieces one too? They had a lot of them. Shout out to you guys for getting that right. Let's move on to the next question. We're over halfway there. Question number six, worth one bonus SB. The name Trisket is a combination of a... Biscuit in what other word? Triple, electricity, or entry? The name Trisket is a combination of biscuit and what other word? Now, based on the weave and thickness of the crackers, triple would make the most sense, as in triple thick biscuits, all right? But the early electric baking method gave the snack its name. They are electricity biscuits, okay? Triscuits, the electricity biscuits. Wow. Oh, my. Okay, so 1,831 of you guys got this one right. Um, uh, uh, yeah, that's literally 17%. 82.3% of you guys got that one wrong, and I'm going to give you a second. So let's just talk about Triscuits for a second while you rejoin. Um, you know, Triscuits are an interesting snack. You know, you let me. all I'm going to say is this. If you're going to eat you some Triscuits, you better have a drink next to you, okay, because you need something. Biscuits, you know what I mean? Over 6,000 of you guys have rejoined, and uh, that's how I like to see it. Let's move on to the next question worth one bonus SB. Here's question number seven. Holding your breath and being startled are believed to cure what ailment? Common cold, shingles, or hiccups? Holding your breath and being startled are believed to cure what ailment? I think you're going to come back with this question. Now, when your diaphragm is spazzing out, it is very annoying. And these cures are methods of either slowing or power cycling your breathing to solve your what? <gasps> hiccups, you guys. Hiccups is the correct answer. 7,788 of you guys got the one right. And boom, that's 99.6% of you guys who got the one right. Oh, only 34 got that one wrong. I mean, come on now. That's how you come back. You know, when you fall down, you got to get back up, right? You did it. Moving on to the next question worth one bonus SB. Let's do it. Here's question number eight. What term does Instagram use for their video feature? Films, reels, or movies? 
What term does Instagram use for their video feature? Which we love them, by the way. You know what I mean? We love a little video. Now, every Thursday, if you head over to the Swag Bucks official Instagram accounts, you can get two hints to the more difficult questions from that day's game delivered as a what? As a reel. If you follow them, you've definitely seen Check those out every Thursday. 7,584 if you guys got the one right and you knew that reels was the correct answer. You guys are really doing a great job. Shout out to all of you. All right, only 2.1% got that one wrong. And hey, who's counting? Me. Moving on to the next question worth one bonus says B. Here is question number nine, you guys. Who played Olivia Pope on Scandal? Katie Lowe's, Bellamy Young, or Kerry Washington? Who played Olivia Pope on Scandal? Very scandalous show. Now, the lines between film and television continue to be blurred as actors can seamlessly move between them, like Kerry Washington did when she starred in Scandal. You know exactly who it is, Kerry Washington. 7,078 of you guys have made it this far, and guess what, my friends? You are ready for our final question. Ah. But before we get to that, quick reminder, everyone. There are two ways to get SB from Swagbucks Daily Trivia outside of our live games. One is through the Daily Trivia Challenge, a once a day hostless version of our game that you can play on your schedule. Second is by clicking the more ways to earn button in the main menu. Yes. Also, we are celebrating the world's most famous soft drink on Monday with the game all about Coca-Cola. So join us at 5 p.m. Pacific time, 8 p.m. Eastern time, because we'll have a refreshing $1,000 up for grabs. Also, if you're running low on rejoins, you're in luck because next week is also a second chance week, which means you're getting three free rejoins for each daily trivia live you play credited before the following game begins. So um, am I going to see you on Monday? I hope so. I'd love to see you on Monday. Now, you guys, one more thing before we get to the final question. Share the joy of earning free gift cards. Refer your friends and family to Swagbucks today. If they earn 300 SB in their first month, you, my friend, are going to get a $3 bonus. Plus, you'll earn 10% of their earnings for life. Um, Hello, that's like a no-brainer. You better send that out. It's a win-win, you guys. It is a win-win. Wow, so many good things happening. Let's take a deep breath before the final question. One, two, three. All right, final question. With one bonus that's B, here's question number 10. Don Quixote was originally published in which language? Spanish, Elvish, or Klingon? Don Quixote was originally published in which language? Don Quixote. Which language? Now, it is one of the most popular books of all time, translated into countless languages from the original Miguel Cervantes book, which was written in what? Spanish, people. Spanish is the correct answer. 6,989 of you knew that answer. And guess what? You, my friends, are splitting a grand prize. That is how you do a game. Congratulations to all of you who are spending the grand prize today. I'm very happy for you. Shout out to Nikki1012, Nikita97, Sinful97, and Eileen003 to name a few. Now that you guys have all these new SB in your account, you already know what to do with them, right? Redeem them for PayPal Cash or gift cards to Amazon, Starbucks, Target, and really hundreds of other amazing places. You guys, great job all week long. We're going to see you on Monday for a brand new week and the Coca-Cola 